It's day 22, cycling across the USA from Miami to LA, all to raise money for the fantastic cause, get kids going. Today's ride is from Brenham to Bastrop, or Bastrop, or Bastrop. We survived the sketchy motel. There were some strange noises in the night though. Hope everyone's all right. I couldn't care less. We're not staying in a numbered place again. First part of the ride today, riding two seconds to the gas station for food. Because obviously, the motel we were staying at didn't have breakfast, and if it did, we would not eat it. Sweets for breakfast. Justin's just gone back in the shop after eating half of his breakfast sandwich, seeing the other half and realizing there was a massive bit of mold on it. Who knows if the first half had mold on? Good start to the day. I mean, things can only go up from here. Do you think my sandwich had mold on? Obviously. We had such a lovely couple of days. We did. It's <laughs> gone back, back to, to this. <laughs> So we're ticking time bombs after those sandwiches. Did I eat some mold? Who knows? Did Justin eat enough mold to make him sick? Find out in the next few minutes. On the plus side, we're on uh, very, very nice roads today. Farmland, not Dogland. We've called the places with the houses that have the dogs off the leads Dogland. We're not in Dogland, not yet anyway. It's all down to the size, the size of the road. Too small, Dogland, too big full of cars, dangerous. This road, just right. Oh, gonna have to ditch this jacket in a minute. This trailer makes you get a sweat on. Whew. We are in uh, a beautiful area. It's very rolling hills today. It's gonna be another day with the most amount of climbing that we have. Oh, look, you can see just in the background, France is trying to catch me up. I thought he was a good cyclist. Apparently not. How are you feeling, Francis? Yeah, fine. I have to pedal to keep up with you when you're not pedaling. Which makes a change, because normally I'm going flat out of threshold just to try and keep up with him when he's freewheeling. So we're having a nice role reversal at the moment. We're also never going to stay in a Motel 6 again. I'm sure there are some locations which are nice, but just not the one that we stayed in. Never stay in a place with a number in it. Although, to be fair, I'm sure the Four Seasons would be good. Yeah, more cows. Thank you. They don't sell coke here. This is breakfast number two. Gates ready to go. Oh, there are always so many signs for pizza outside these gas stations and then they never have it. You see, having breakfast is quite a good thing to do before you ride a bike really far. We failed at that task this morning. We've been riding for about two hours and it sounds like we're going to have to ride another hour with whatever fuel we have here, which is mainly liquid, to get to breakfast again. I guess you would call it lunch. On the plus side, the road has gone from massive hard shoulder, which was basically like stuck down gravel, to super, super smooth. And it's super wide and there isn't any rumble strips or anything. So this road is busy, but actually quite nice to ride on and really fast. Why are you, why are you hiding there? I was trying to get shaved. Is it working? No, I feel like I'm even more in the sun now. No, I do cycling for uh, when I do my strongman training and shit. Oh, and I got much respect for you because even the stuff I do, yeah. that's like not even 5k on a bike yeah. just to keep the cardio up for yeah. this stuff. And it's like these fuckers that ride these things for hundreds of hundreds of miles, y'all got a lot of endurance. Hey, hey. You're a strong man. Yes. Hey, he looks like a strong man. Francis. This is Justin. Oh, oh he's got such a strong hand. handshake. Oh, yeah, Gosh, man. Oh. What's your favorite of it? Uh log. The log, wait, the overhead or? Overhead press. It goes from the ground. Yeah. You got an inch and a half bar in each hand. And you have to bring it up and settle it across your girdle. You're gonna roll it up onto your chest, take a second breath, and you're gonna press it up and over. It's more of a hobby. We should be back at the Vardaman house, but we got so comfortable actually trying to recover and relax for the first time in almost a month. And then we're back on the road in a mold infested motel with people trying to break into our room in the middle of the night. <laughs> Some random man that was just playing the same song over and over again for hours. <laughs> and uh, moldy egg sandwiches. That was the firmest <laughs> egg I'd ever eaten. 
That should have been the giveaway. So when I'm at home, or well, most of the time, try and eat vegan. On this trip, it has been quite difficult to do. This morning, egg sandwich was the only option other than like literally crisps. But karma, instant karma. My stomach is doing proper like. A few minutes on the main road, just spotted a car with a bike on the back, pulling in. Who could this be? I do. I saw you guys. I was like. Hi, that's Francis and Justin. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Francis. Well, we're coming back from uh, Florida. We were at my parents' house in Orlando. He just came past us by chance. Yeah. That's amazing. That was, <laughs> when we were in Orlando, I'm like, I saw you guys in Texas, and I was like, we're gonna miss it. Sorry, hey, my voice is terrible. ridden the perimeter of Texas. Gave us a couple of tips on our route and the I-10 going forwards. Nice people. Me, nice people everywhere. And people with really, really strong handshakes like that strong man. Got a sore hand now. So we were making good progress. Some of the road qualities aren't very good. and We've got lots of ridges and railway tracks that we need to go over. So Francis has got a pinch puncture on his back wheel. He is now about to sort out. Are you using the worm again? No, no, it's not tubeless. Back wheel is no longer tubeless, so we can't use the worm anymore. The good thing about ha the good thing about punctures is you get to see pump action Francis in action. Pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up. As always, we're stopping in very safe environments. I did press ups yesterday. What was that? I did some press ups yesterday, and now I regret it. I'm pretty sore. Why were you doing press ups? I saw I. So I'm not working my upper body here much. Why? Why are you laughing at me? Three. What fucking day is this? 22. Boom. That was really hard. We basically spent the last hour and a half on a motorway, which wasn't a motorway because we feel safer on motorways than on that road. Motorways here are all right because there's a big hard shoulder. The road that we were on just then was not all right. Did not have a shoulder. And we basically didn't film anything. I've got a clip. I'll put it here. You can see what we were riding on. That was, that was the first time we felt really unsafe on this road. Ugh. On this ride, we've uh, opted to not stay at a motel with a number in it, Holiday Inn. Always a safe option. Should we stop trying to get sponsored by Gatorade? Get sponsored by Holiday Inn instead. You're scared? How long have they been on me for? What's happened? Bro, look over there. I was taking my clothes off and I had crickets and what were locusts all over my legs. <laughs> How many? There's loads. There's <laughs> loads and look, they're big. Oh my god, how long have they been on me for? How long have they been there? I was taking my clothes off and then I just suddenly saw stuff moving around and I was like, what the fuck is that? And then my trousers were just filled with locusts. <laughs> what the One normal day. So we asked for. <laughs> no! <laughs> that f is definitely alive. Well, yeah. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you reckon they've been on me since the motel? 